My name is Joel Nipkeski, and I'm running to be the chair of the Libertarian Party of Florida. I've been active in this party since I was 16 years old. I even pre-registered as a Libertarian when I was 16. It wasn't a candidate that brought me into the party, but podcast that brought me into the party. It was actually <laughs> the School Sucks podcast. I've always been a little rebellious and always wanted to rebel against those who try to inflict their will upon me. And literally on my 18th birthday, I joined my local affiliate in Polk County. I started off as the fundraising director, as fundraising director of the Libertarian Party of Polk County. I've raised over $15,000 for my local affiliate. I then transitioned into multiple different committees. Then I transitioned to being the vice chair of my local affiliate, which I served in that role now for six years. I have, camp I have ran multiple different statewide campaigns. I was the campaign manager for Paul Anthony Stanton. I aided in the campaign of Mayor Martin Sullivan down in Frost Group. And I will have to agree with the other candidates up here that the I-4 corridor is the heart and blood of the Libertarian Party of Florida. Pinellas County has the highest percentage of registered libertarians. Hillsborough has the highest amount of libertarians. Polk at one point had the highest amount of elected libertarians, and we need to build on this momentum. Our eyes and our minds need to be set on the 2020 election. We need to focus on internal turnover. Our turnover rate for committees, for DC members, is too high. We need to find out why people are getting burned out, why they're leaving, why they're joining other parties. We need to have our eyes set on the 2020 election and our nets large. We need to be ambitious. We need to set reasonable goals and accomplish them. I do not believe that Operation First Step was a success. I know that's a controversial point to make, but I think it was a failure that we did not have any statewide candidates in 2016. If our affiliates do not have anyone to get behind, we have no nothing to lure people in. All we can sit there and talk to the general public about philosophy. We have nothing to inspire them. We're not taking positions on issues. We have nothing to captivate them. We need to focus on statewide candidates. We need to have a functional uh, candidates committee. We need. I would like to see the, the affiliate outreach committee fully staffed and operational. I think it is a shame that the region, the region that I am from, which was one of the only regions that was fully affiliated, we lost two counties. We've lost Fernando and Pasco. Um, we need to reach out back to those counties and focus on reaffiliating them. We need to be able to inspire and maintain our current membership. The, our donation numbers have increased, but the over the amount of donations per person has decreased. We're overtapping our donation base. We need to have more warm bodies. Because without warm bodies in this movement, we will die. Thank you very much.